What's up awesome tubers? Welcome back to the channel. If you notice I changed the name recently to DMJR Productions. I felt like changing some things up a little bit. So a new channel name, but I'm still David Awesome. And of course you all are still my great awesome tubers that I greatly appreciate. Thank you for watching my channel. I just wanted to do a little channel update. I'm sorry about uh, us having to reschedule back our beatdown again. I uh, had some issues come up with COVID that stopped, you know, stopped it from happening. You know, COVID stops everything these days. But December 3rd is going to be the official date, and we're having the match no matter what, God willing. So, you get to see me, David Awesome, leave Webby a bloody mess. And if you want to watch that match, it's December 3rd, me versus Webby in a first blood match. Winner goes on to face Mikey, the so-called great champion. But you can watch that right here at Wrestling with Webby. So go to that channel on December 3rd to tune into the match and you get to see me, the awesome one, reign supreme. But on another note, I uh, wanted to show y'all my Star Wars room. I know I've showed it in past videos but I recently cleaned it out really nicely and I want to show it off so here we go so this is kind of a far away view you know I got all my uh, figurines up there there's more on these other walls here you can start up here I got some Hot Wheels Star Wars and Darth Maul right there that's one of my favorite of the Hot Wheels uh, series that I got Got a Stormtrooper one, and then I got a Sith Inquisitor, one of the Sith Inquisitor people. Don't know that dude's exact name, but I know he is a Sith Inquisitor type of person. And of course, I got Star Wars Legacy comp. Here I got my Kylo Ren mask, where I put blood right there to make it look a little bit more vicious. Got uh, two of the same set here on the Force Link. Got this one, and then right down here, I got the other one. Got Ray there. And then I got some Darth Vader comics, which were made by Marvel, if you can see. Got some more comics down here. Right here is a magazine from 1999 about Star Wars toys. It was a got some bonus poster in it, and it's uh, you know, episode one when episode one came out, 1999. So, classic magazine right there. And right here, I recently installed this little shelf here. Got Kylo Ren there, with, uh, his idol Vader, and then got some uh, Christmas Star Wars figurines here, getting in the holiday spirit. And so then I got another random comic there and then right here I got Kylo Ren I really like this picture it looks bad a eh, right there and then of course scaling over here got more Star Wars things uh, I really like this figurine I've said in past videos but this Grievous is one of my favorites I know it's a reprint but I like that cloth cape in there got a Gamorrean guard and then up here of course all of my Phantom Menace figurines that I've got collected. And then up here are some of the Power of the Force ones. Got Watto. Palpatine. Quiet Garden. And Anakin as a boy. I like this Quiet Garden right here. And this Dark Mole. I really like that one. And Revenge of the Sith figurines, I got those too. Sorry about the glare. We got Yoda here. And then right here, I really like this figurine. Really tall, tall Kylo Ren. His lightsaber used to light up, but uh, the batteries need to be changed in them. C3PO. You know, Jason, uh, Jason Funny. He's my arch enemy over there on KJLW42. He reminds me a lot of C3PO. And I got some golden uh, pop figurines. Got Bob, uh, actually Jingle Fett, my bad, it's Jingle Fett there. And then down here I got Darth Maul. And this is something I got for my birthday. 
Family Guy trilogy. I love these. They're hilarious. And if you get the jokes, they're even funnier. Got some more random things down here. Vader. Darth Maul there. As you can see, the original N64 Shadows of the Empire game. And of course, I got Star Wars Puzzle there. Got an IG-88 just chilling up there, kicking back with Yoda. For my birthday, I got these cups. I really like them. Not really drinking out of them, but using them for holders. Although, the fiance, Crazy Ginger, had a great idea that we can uh, toast the wedding with these. So, yeah, I really like this Greedo cup. And then right here, kind of behind here, you know, I got all the movies, of course, and the Clone Wars and all that. I think the only movie I'm missing is Solo, so I'm gonna get that eventually. And then some of my more favorite figurines over here. I really like this Ray one right here, the Black Series. A really nice set. I really like the Black Series. Probably one of my favorite set of figurines in Star Wars is the Black Series. Some of them get so pricey. And then of course you got this generation's R2D2 BB-8. And then on this side of the wall, more figurines. Got a Han Solo there. Got this at a Comic Con that was around in my area. And it came with a coin in there. I mainly got it for that, like that coin. And my favorite Star Wars character, Anakin slash Vader. Another Grievous. A while back, I recently got this clock. It's not working, it needs batteries, but nice clock, huh? And then, of course, on this side, a few more Star Wars things. I mean, not everything in this room is Star Wars, but it basically is. But we're, we are Batman fans here, and my brother got this for us. And Andy Cool, he's on my channel sometimes. He got us this over at the convention that was by our house, and he got the artist to sign it for us, so that was awesome. Check that out, awesome tuber. And then over here chilling, of course, I got the baby Yoda. Everybody's favorite Star Wars character. And then randomly, uh, Simpsons comic. And some Star Wars books. That is um, a complete set right there. And it's the um, Bounty Hunter Wars. Good set of Star Wars books. Highly recommend them. And then I got this for home defense, in case anybody wants to break in here. Got my blaster lock, locked and loaded. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my room. I'm going to keep adding to it, but this is my little collection I got going. I know it's not the best collection, but it's the things I've managed to keep. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I've moved a good four or five times in my life. And I managed to hold on to most of my Star Wars stuff. But if you enjoyed this video, Subscribe, tune in for more. I'm definitely gonna be doing more toy reviews, showing off more of my collection. If you're into all of that, smash that subscribe button and may the force be with you. 